Come thrifting with me. Someone told me that one of my favorite thrift stores is now having a Christmas in July sale, so let's go. And I actually found one of my thrift wish list items. That was a mouthful. <laughs> I was a little underwhelmed with the amount of Christmas stuff they had out, but I mean, I'm sure it's hard to dig it all out this time of year, so I'll take it. I thought this was cute. It's definitely not vintage, but it was very pretty. My oldest daughter would have probably loved this garland for her room. It was $2 and I just decided to go ahead and pass because I need her input. This cup was the exact aesthetic I'm going for in my kitchenette, but I do have a lot of mugs, so I probably need to inventory them first. What do you guys think this stand is for? Do you think votives usually sit in there? It was $10. I also thought these brass candle stick holders were a little bit um, high as well since they are newer style. But the brass horn, absolutely. I think I have two already and I would buy 10 if they were available. <laughs> this is basically the Christmas version of the dishes I had growing up. I'm surprised my mom didn't have them. I loved these oil lamps. It had the milk glass base. It had the little garland around it. Red, it was a real true oil lamp and I just absolutely loved it. There were two, but they were $7 a piece and I just couldn't talk myself into it. So many of you guys told me to come back and get that Christmas skunk for 50 cents. And so I learned my lesson. He'll be on my fridge this Christmas. He's pretty cute. In the vintage corner, they had these coasters. I was trying to see what they were kind of made out of because I was hoping that wasn't real butterfly. I don't think so, but um, cute. Just didn't really have a spot for him. I have a lot of coasters. I saw this little brass guitar. I thought it would be so cute on my trinket shelf. It was very heavy though, so I knew right away it was probably gonna be higher. And it was, it was $10 because it was a belt buckle and from the 70s. So I totally respect that price, but probably not for a trinket shelf. I've always loved those tomato glasses, but look at these. They were only a dollar a piece. And I always tell myself not to get glassware, but come on, they're beautiful. Someday when I get a bar cart, these are going to be on my fall inspired decorated bar cart. I love the orange and yellow and it was only $2. This Fawn's cup was great. I used to watch Happy Days as a kid on Nick at Night, but $9, oof, I just can't do it. They had quite a few new things in the vintage corner. Cute kitchen decorations, old utensils that would be really cute to decorate kitchen shelves with, but I already have a lot of that stuff, so I moved on. With the bar cart dreams that I have, I have been trying to look at this type of thing. Um, we just don't make a lot of cocktails now. I think we would like to be those people, but since I didn't know exactly what that did, I passed. I also debated getting this cactus mug for future May projects, but I just don't want to hold on to a whole bunch of coffee cups for that long. I saw this basket and expected this to say not for sale, but it was for sale for $6. As you guys know, I have been looking for a basket like this for well, since Christmas, to put my gift paper in, in my family room. But first I had to find a place for the flowers. Wait, did that include the flowers? No, it didn't. Okay. It was such an exciting find for me. The 90s girl in me wants to get this. It's pretty cute. Something I would have had in my house growing up. I need more masculine birthday cards, so I tried to find some and threw those in. The total today was only $11.18. The basket was the find of the day. I'm so 